Hello folks, welcome to another uh, YK Apps tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to learn about the host file. The host file is an internal OS file uh, that its purpose is to uh, redirect uh, to a, a custom IP address that you choose uh, whenever you type a URL in the browser. Like, like let's say you want uh, facebook.com to be redirected to your uh, developer server. Uh, so you can you need only to get to the host file and modify it accordingly. It's really good if you uh, have the developer server and you want like customers to see the advancement, but only customers. So uh, uh, you can just go and tell them to edit the host file uh, uh, to point the uh, IP, the the developer server IP address whenever they type a certain URL, and this way you can limit the traffic to your developer server only uh, to certain uh, people and not expose it to the entire world uh, okay so uh, let's begin uh, you begin why by launching uh, the Windows Explorer uh, if you have a shortcut you can just uh, go ahead and click the shortcut Windows Explorer uh, if you don't have a shortcut you can right click the start and choose open Windows Explorer and in here when we after we open the Windows Explorer we're gonna go to a certain drive the drive is Windows System32 drivers etc so we're gonna do it slow uh, go to where the directory where uh, the drive where your Windows uh, is installed usually it's drive C so I'm gonna click uh, drive C here in here I'm gonna click the Windows folder and I'm gonna click that in the Windows folder there's a system 32 folder and I'm gonna choose that system 32 and in the system 32 there is a drivers folder so go to the drivers folder and in here uh, it's pretty long, I know. Uh, there's an etc folder, and you're gonna go to this folder, and you're gonna see here a bunch of files. Among those files is the famous host file we are talking about. Uh, unfortunately, we can't edit it inside this directory because it's a Win Windows system uh, directory, and for security reasons, uh, Windows won't let you directly modify the file so we're gonna do a little trick and copy it to copy this file to a place where we have security privileges like the desktop so by clicking uh, the right mouse button and dragging this file to the desktop you see you will choose copy here and this way we're gonna copy this file to the desktop now we can uh, edit the file that we copied in the desktop so we're gonna right click this file and we're gonna click on open to uh, open it with a text editor of your choice I'm gonna choose to open it with notepad you can, you can do also wordpad if you want I'm gonna choose notepad and the host file opens uh, if you want to add something uh, like the uh, different custom redirection uh, then you want to go to the end of the file now the syntax is pretty simple and there is a bunch of examples uh, inside the file like commented examples all the all those lines are like uh, comments so uh, it's basically first you write the IP address you want to be uh, redirected to so the IP is let's like say an IP six 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 or whatever you want. Hit tab a few times, and the second part is the uh, URL name. Uh, let's just say facebook.com dot com. And basically, what we're saying here is, whenever I type in the browser, whenever I type face.com I want to be redirected to this URL to this uh, sorry sorry this IP uh, okay uh, let's just do another one and now with Facebook with uh, uh, www prefix 
So when we enter www, it's also be redirected to the same IP address. Okay, uh, after we finish uh, editing the host file, we can just uh, go right ahead and save the file. Click on Control S or File Save. And now we can uh, exit Notepad. Exit Notepad. And now we have the modified file uh, residing inside the desktop. So we need to copy it to the original uh, location. So by uh, clicking the file and right click and drag to the original direction, you see a bunch of options. I'm going to choose Move. Move here. And Move and Replace. We're going to copy the existing file. We're going to be asked security privileges and we're going to click continue and and that's pretty much it uh, very useful stuff to access your developer server let's just quickly check that in action launch a web browser and let's see what happened when we click facebook choose away facebook.com uh, as you can see it will probably uh, have the connecting uh, a symbol for quite a while and after a while will display a 404 error and that's because we just made up an IP that doesn't exist uh, so that's it folks hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, tutorial and for the full article you can just go ahead uh, ykapps.com and uh, read the full article hope you enjoyed goodbye